So good morning everyone. We're here on the 441 uh, going through the Great Smokies heading toward Newfound Newfound Gap and we're just going to have a nice little drive. Stop. See the leaves changing a little bit. With another week or two, they'll be it'll be really nice through here. Well, this morning we are on 441, just out of Gatlinburg, up in the Great Smoky Mountains, and stopped here and for a view of them. And it's a beautiful drive. We'll post a lot of pictures. Okay, we're up here on 441 at Chimney Tops, and it's uh, about 11 o'clock, the sun's coming up, it's kind of hard to see, but it is pretty here in Tennessee, no doubt about it. I got lots of tunnels here, I think they count at seven. Just going around the little loop here now. Yeah, you can see the leaves over there starting to change. Yep, fall is coming. Yep, the higher up we go, the more the leaves are changing the colors. Again, this is just still early in the in the fall, so. We don't have the peak yet. It's a beautiful drive, but don't be in a hurry because there's a lot of traffic. We're at the Newfound Gap Overlook. Yeah, it could be. There's a lady down there painting. Hardwoods below, evergreens above. You're standing in the transition zone, the boundary where two forest types converge. In the valley below, a northern hardwood forest thrives in the Okanalufti River drainage above. And below you, a spruce fir forest climbs the exposed ridge. The Smokies Northern Hardwoods Forest, typical of forest 1,200 miles to the north, hung north face slopes around 400 feet in elevation. This environment is wet, moss grows thick on fallen logs, and salamanders thrive. North winds in the winter buffet these slopes with snow and ice. A new Englander might feel at home here among sugar maples, American beech, yellow buckeye, hobble bush, and yellow birch trees. A few hundred feet higher, 
where sunlight, moisture, and temperature change markedly, the hardwood species yield to red spruce and Fraser fir. Look up at the dark green spruce along the slope and you can clearly see the transition between forest types. This is called cut and run. You hardly ever left a tree of any size standing and all the little little ones was torn down. Well, we're down here by the creek and boy, it's pretty here. That's pretty hit through here with the river running. Right through the bottom of the canyon. Well, we had to make a pit stop here at the Dills Gap Motorcycle Resort, which is uh, the official home of the Dragon. We just left the restaurant and we are on the Dragon Tail here and just went in Tennessee portion of it. Lots of motorcycles and sports cars flying through here. I guess the reason they call it the Dragon Tail is it curves every which way. Curvy roads, this is a good one. Not too many pullouts on it. 